Welcome to Switzerland's largest city, Zurich. From all the iconic landmarks and food you must eat down to the hidden gems, these are the best things to do in Zurich that cannot be missed. The Old Town is the historic heart of Zurich which beats on the both sides of Limat River that runs through it. Starting from the left bank, we have Bahnhofstrasse. This is the first street you see stepping out of Zurich main station. It is the world-renowned shopping boulevard of Zurich. Here, you can find everything that your heart desires with numerous boutiques, department stores, luxury goods and timepiece stores. Bahnhofstrasse is just as popular with locals and visitors and it is always worth a visit. From Bahnhofstrasse, Augustine Gasse leads off into the picturesque old town. It is one of the most beautiful historical narrow streets in Zurich with many well-preserved, colourfully painted bay windows. It provides an insight into the history of the city. Once the widest street in Zurich, Grönweg is now a popular promenade in Old Town. It is also the second most exclusive shopping area in Zurich after the Bahnhofstrasse and it is a pedestrian zone that invites you to stroll and linger. Climbing up a little hill, you reach Lindenhof, a haven of peace and tranquility in the heart of the city. It's a meeting point for passionate chess and ping-pong players. This spot provides a glorious view of the old town, Rose Munster Church, City Hall, the Limat River, the University and the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. It's definitely my favourite spot in Zurich. I could just sit here whole day admiring the most beautiful view of Old Town. As you descend and continue your stroll in the Old Town, you'll pass by St. Peter's Church the oldest parish church in Zurich. The original foundation walls from the 9th century are still visible under the choir. St. Peter's Church has the largest church clock face in Europe measuring 8.7 meters in diameter. You could easily spot it even from afar anywhere in Zurich. Munsterhof, the oldest town square in Zurich, is beautiful, idyllic and surrounded by some of the finest medieval buildings in the city. One of which is an important landmark of Zurich, the Fraumünster Church. Important architectural features include the Romanesque chancel and the high vaulted transept. Its most stunning treasures are the stained glass windows by Augusto Giacometti and the five-part window on Man's Path to God by Mark Chagall. over to the right bank of the Old Town, an iconic landmark of Zurich, the Grossmünster Church. It has 
the most modernized stained glass windows I've ever seen. You can climb the church towers at 5 francs to see the city from above. Before we continue to explore the right bank, let's replenish our energy at some of the must-try restaurants of Zurich. The Swiss Chuchi restaurant is the first fondue parlour in Zurich's old town, fully devoted to serving traditional Swiss cuisine, in particular the public's favourite, cheese fondue. Whether you choose to dine outdoors in a vibrant pedestrian zone of Neiderdorf or in a rustic Swiss ambience of the restaurant, locals as well as people from far and wide come here for good Swiss food. Horschild holds a Guinness World Record of the oldest vegetarian restaurant in the world. Founded on 3rd July 1898 in Zurich, it continues to be managed by the fourth generation of the Hilt family till today. You can either choose to enjoy an all-you-can-eat buffet or reserve a table for a sophisticated service in the a la carte restaurant where exclusive signature dishes are served. In the charming Neiderdorf district of Zurich's old town is the renowned Vittorio Vanini, a place where the culture of Swiss chocolate has been celebrated since 1871. They serve some really amazing gelato and chocolates. I highly encourage you to try. Neiderdorf district is a popular part of Zurich's old town on the right bank of Limat River where picturesque alleys, historic buildings, numerous restaurants, cafes and stores are nestled along each other. This one is for the lovebirds. You can attach love locks at the mill bridge and symbolically throw the key into the water to signify your commitment to each other. The Polybahn is one of Zurich's most legendary means of transport. The nostalgic train has been operating for 130 years. It's not only pretty but also practical. It is the shortest connection from Limat K to the University and the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. It only takes just 100 seconds to get from Central up to the Poly Terrace. Once you reach the top, you can enjoy a wonderful view of the old town and Lake Zurich from the Poly Terrace. The ETH is open to the public and you can explore their beautiful campus. Albert Einstein is probably the most famous alumnus of ETH Zurich. Between 1896 and 1900, he studied here and graduated with a diploma as a specialist teacher in mathematics and natural sciences. As a professor of physics, he has founded the basis for his theory of relativity here between 1912 and 1940, discover his various stations during his life and peek into his locker located on F floor. To mark the 100th anniversary of his Nobel Prize in Physics, a digital avatar of the young Albert has been developed to provide information about his years in Zurich. Come by for a chat with him. Giacometti Frescos is the most beautiful police station entrance hall worldwide. In 1922, the city of Zurich launched a competition to paint the entrance hall and Augusto Giacometti won the competition with ease. 
Today, the art in architecture work which was extensively restored in 2019 is considered to be of national importance. This can only be accessed by a public tour from 2pm to 5pm on Wednesdays to Saturdays, free entry. Zurich is a very walkable city, but when you get tired, you can easily hop on to any of these trams. We are heading to Seschlautenplatz. This is one of the largest inner city squares in Switzerland and the perfect place to spend an idyllic afternoon by Lake Zurich and the Opera House. As you can see, it's a local hotspot and you can buy bread to feed the swans and dogs here. Nächster Halt, Yürtliberg Endbahnhof. Wir bitten alle Reisenden auszusteigen. Danke und auf Wiedersehen. Uetliburg is Zurich's local mountain. The best way to get here is on foot or by public transport. The Uetliburg Bahn runs several times an hour from Zurich city centre. From the Uetliburg terminus, it is a leisurely 7 minute walk through the forest. There's a free viewing platform, but if you'd like to have a view from the very top, you can pay 2 francs to climb this tower. Leave the hustle and bustle behind you and enjoy pure nature high above the city. Once you reach the very top, you'll be greeted by the 360 degrees unparalleled views of Zurich from above. From here, you can overlook the city, the lake, and even catch a glimpse of the Alps. This is an insider tip for anyone seeking peace and quiet. The Schkanzen Grabend, aka the Venice of Zurich, is an idyllic waterside promenade that lies around 2 meters below street level. Located in the heart of the city, yet far away from the hustle and bustle, and zigzags over a boardwalk and sandstone slabs along the old botanical garden, here, benches and exotic trees invite visitors to stop and linger. In summer, you can also experience Zurich via a city sites kayaking tour with Necklin, a former canoe polo national player where you start at Schkanzen Grauben and paddle your way to Lake Zurich. Another unique mode of transport in Zurich is the Limat River Cruise. With this panoramic glass roof, Passengers can enjoy a leisurely tour past the most beautiful sights that Zurich's Old Town has to offer until the view opens up over Lake Zurich. This is a great way to explore the city, especially when it's raining. The entire round trip takes 15 minutes, but you can hop on and off based on where you want to go. We eventually decided to alight at Land Museum. The National Museum which houses the largest collection documenting the cultural history of Switzerland. You can definitely spend half a day here because there's just so much to see. 